up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. We're going to break down Father and Son by Cat Stevens. Uh, you know, childhood uh, music for me. And I love Cat Stevens. I've said that before. But anyway, shout out to Team Use of Cat Stevens. Uh, also, thanks for supporting Marty Music. I uh, appreciate you subscribing here to the channel and clicking that bell notification. Really helps me out. Plus, I got a bunch of bonus links in the description below. So be sure to check that out. Now let's get to the song. All right, the intro, we're gonna start with a G chord. And if you can't play G with your ring finger, middle finger, and pinky, it's a good time to start practicing it because you can add, while you keep the ring and pinky, you can add second fret D, first fret B. And you get C over G is what I would call that. Now, if you can't do that, you can go G, 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 C. So either one, but the I think the sound of the record is on that intro part. And then it's another guitar. It's not the same guitar, but we're going to do it as one guitar. We're going to go. And that's these classic double stops. So it's. 4th fret G, and the 3rd fret high E. Then 5th fret G, 5th fret high E. Then we go into the progression, and only in the, this first part, and then when it mellows out at the end, and kind of, uh, it's almost identical lyrics, but it's like a little different perspective, during the very beginning and then the very end, it uses a D chord, whereas the rest of the song, instead of a D, you're using B minor seven. I'll show you as we get to it. But this would actually be a great song if you're working on bar chords to just get one bar chord in there. So let's start with the main part right in the beginning. G to D, then C major, and then A minor 7, and you simply just take the ring finger off. So check it out. Uh, G, settle D, if you see you can A minor. Look at G, then the E minor now, then a regular A minor. So that's that's the gist of basically most of the song is G, D, but sometimes B minor. But there's they can be inner substituted for each other. So it's G, do the D, then a C. Ring finger off A minor 7, and a G again, but now E minor, then A minor, to D, then back to the first thing again, G, to the D, then a C again, and A minor 7 again, then G again, to E minor again, A minor to D. So we just did that exact same thing. But now finally, instead of D, now for pretty much the rest of the song until it goes back to the mellow beginning again. Now we're gonna play B minor seven where D was. So it just is a bar on the second fret. You've got third fret on the B, fourth fret on the D, barred on the second. Now if you're a beginner and you can't play that chord, you can play a D chord instead. Nothing really changes. Okay, so here we go. G, U, R, B minor 7, and C, everything else is the same. A minor 7, and the G's the same, and the E minor's the same, and the A minor's the same. Then the D, I uh, was G, but now B minor 7, and C, A minor 7, G, E minor, your dreams may not. So that's one of those little things where it changes now. So the last one, um, G, B minor 7, C, A minor 7, you will still be here tomorrow. 
but your dreams may not. So dreams may not is D to G's and it's the intro. See how it cuts right in or it like ends short into the intro. That last But your D G intro. And then not the boo da boo da, because it goes right back in to this exact same progression we played. I try to explain, but it's that. Like I said, remember, I said it's always B minor seven, so how can G try to be minor seven when it does C and minor seven and G? All the same. So what happens is it goes through this progression and then finally uh, um So instead of it goes through the whole progression and finally I have to go away. So D to D to G and then I D C intro G. So one more time on that and then that's pretty that's pretty much the whole song. So. If you're still with me, we might as well go for it. So, how can I try to explain that I do it to make it so it's insane and so real? Now, there's two guitars, but you could play A minor here and add that third fret high E. is what we just did. And then now it's mellowed out after the guitar solo. That chord, it, it's like basically just go back to the first verse. So it... Time to make a change. It's D again, right? When you found something going on, you can think a lot. Now it goes back to B minor. I think of everything. So it just 
just goes right through that again. And then I know I have to go. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Once again, thank you so much. You can request, um, you know, videos you'd like to see, lessons you'd like to see in the comments below. And while you're down there, I appreciate you liking the video and subscribing here to Marty Music. I know it's a lot to ask. Very filled with questions for you. <laughs> anyway, take care. Hope to see you later.